Hey everyone, James Niggemeyer here. Thank you for tuning back into my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna do, finally, a walkthrough of my brand new Ranger 208 Alpha. I know some guys have been messaging me on Instagram and Facebook, asking me when I'm gonna do a walkthrough, and I plan to actually do a series of videos on the boat so that I can go into greater detail. I know there's a lot of interest in this boat. I'm gonna bring you this video and a series of videos where I really go through the boat. I got this boat back in January of 2024, kind of midway through the, the month, and then immediately went to Lake Okeechobee for the Bassmaster Open. I fished three events out of it and numerous days on the water, both um, for fun and on guide trips um, around the Northeast Texas area lakes, Lake Fork and so forth. So I've got uh, probably close to 50 hours on the boat. And um, really, uh, I've been, been able to really see it perform in a wide variety of conditions. What I wanted to do is start with a general uh, overview, kind of the nuts and bolts of how this boat was built. Now, um, a lot of people have asked me, you know, James, you've always run a fiberglass boat. Why now? Why go to an aluminum boat? Well, there's a long story to that, but I'll start with this. Uh, this would be my fourth aluminum boat and my third Ranger aluminum boat. I've had the Ranger 188 and the Ranger 198, and I just love aluminum boats. And really it fits the way that I fish because I love to fish shallow, you know, with chatter baits and crank baits, square bills and buzz baits and frogs flipping and pitching. And I even like to finesse fish shallow, but an aluminum boat enables you to get into shallower waters. But this aluminum boat gives you kind of the best of both worlds because you can get into those shallow areas, but it operates much like a fiberglass. So without further ado, let's get into the brand new Ranger 208 Alpha. So number one, kind of starting at the, uh, the, the transom, the motor that I'm going with, again, no surprise, the Mercury Pro XS 250. Now this boat, in the package deal, if you go to Ranger Boats website, uh, they have a package price with a 200. And it's an amazing package price. It's that's $59,999 for this 20 foot boat with a 200. But I upgraded it to obviously the 250, taking you through this boat. Um, I have it on a TH Marine Atlas hydraulic jack plate the six inch version right there. And I love that I got it in black because that obviously matches the motor. And then of course, eight foot power pole blades. It would be really weird if I didn't have my blades on the boat. And so I've got eight foot power pole blades on there and the bracket actually, you know, bolts right on to the TH Marine um, hydraulic jack plate right there. So the whole package just looks amazing. Really love the way that looks and obviously the way it performs. So uh, going into the boat itself, a couple things that you've come become accustomed to with a lot of the Ranger line is you have a remote drain plug and uh, that way you don't have to go crawling underneath the boat. And that's really nice. Obviously the gas cap and this boat holds 40 gallons and I've actually been able to put 42 gallons. I don't know if I can still do that, but initially when I first got the boat, I was able to put 42 gallons in the boat, but it's advertised at 40 gallons. And that really gives you the range to go to some bigger lakes and to go to some far off places away from the, the ramp that you're putting in at. So I really love that about the boat as well. So, uh, you know, obviously you're gonna have the range and the ability, and of course the size and the type of the boat this is, um, and I'll go into more about that, enables you to take those rougher uh, areas on windier days and on bigger waters. Uh, the boat comes with this boarding ladder here, and this just folds down like this. So super handy, um, whether you're swimming or if hopefully it never happens, if you go out of the boat, you've got that boarding ladder to get back in. Let's go with the trailer. Now I upgraded my trailer from the standard trailer that the Ranger boat comes with. And I went with an aluminum channel trailer. Let me give you a look at that. It's really a cool trailer there. And then upgraded, I believe these are upgraded wheels and tires. If they're not, that's a great, uh, you know, standard package item, but I believe those are upgraded wheels and tires. Was able to wrap 
my uh, trailer, kind of giving you just kind of starting from the trailer, working ground up, my spare tire there, and then your uh, tongue jack here, just like the other bigger fiberglass arrangers, and then obviously your, uh, your bow strap, and then there's a step right there to get in and out of the boat. The trailer itself is obviously like that aluminum color, but then I went ahead and had the the trailer wrapped to kind of match my uh, my overall uh, appearance as far as the uh, wrap on the boat. So talking more about the boat, the boat is amazing in that it is designed to mimic the Ranger Z520R. And I'll back up and give you an idea of what I'm talking about. It's not like a lot of your flatter bottom aluminum boats. This one actually has a deeper V right there, you can see. And so that's gonna enable you to cut through the water and give you a better ride in some of those bigger areas, bigger, rougher waters and windier conditions. So uh, to really kind of understand what's going on, this boat obviously mimics the Ranger Z520R and it does it in an amazing fashion with this enormous deck. I wanna say that um, on the website it says 96 inches, which would probably mean from rub rail to rub rail. So it's just a giant, I mean, I need to give you some sort of idea of just how big this front deck is. It's the very first thing that most people remark about this boat. Okay, to give you an idea just how big the deck on the front of my Ranger 208 Alpha is. I am six foot two. And if I was to stretch out, which I am, my feet are not touching that side and my head's not touching on this side. So that's a massive front deck on the Ranger 208 Alpha. So a uh, really large casting platform two, three anglers on the front, not a problem. So um, let's get back up here to the bow of the boat. I really like what Ranger's done here. Obviously the rub rail, and then this kind of a nose cone piece here, super cool. Love, love the way that looks. And of course, gives you that added uh, protection from you know bumping a dock and different things like that. Uh, and it has a, just a cool overall like tough look to it. So that's, that's really nice. Um, I've upgraded my trolling motor to a power pole move. First year running that, love it. But I'll go into some of the things that I did to the boat, kind of per to personalize it in videos to come. We'll just continue to go with and focus on the Ranger 208 Alpha. So right here at the front of the boat, you have a recessed foot tray and also a place where you can flush mount electronics. I believe that will hold a 12 inch unit. I mean, flush mounted. So super nice there. And I love the fact that they went with a fiberglass foot pedal tray and a place to uh, flush mount your electronics here. But I actually only have one unit here at this time. I've got a Lowrance uh, Pro, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and put a precision sonar mount that enables me to put two units on there. Um, got a little cup holder as well and a little toolbar right there. So Ranger's just done a tremendous job. You know, we're gonna spend a lot of time at the bow of the boat, at this command center here as we're casting and uh, fishing throughout the day. And uh, I've really come to enjoy what Ranger's done here. Let's go over the deck configuration. So just like the Ranger Z520R, you have a center rod box and then a, a smaller uh, compartment here in front of the console and then another compartment in front here. And I'll go into the size um, and what I've done to uh, kind of organize my tackle and put things where, where they are later on, but just wanna give you kind of a brief overview of how this boat is laid out. Now with the console, I've had it wrapped black so that it'll keep it looking nice and I can put all these decals on it, but it is the same color as the foot pedal tray. Um, it's fiberglass as well. And so it's that gunmetal metallic flake here. It's, it looks really nice. It matches, obviously, the, the bow-mounted uh, foot pedal tray. Really love the console area and what Ranger has done here. You could flush mount a 12-inch unit right here. I believe that would fit. Um, but I actually have a precision sonar mount here 
and uh, a 12 inch HDS 12 Lowrance unit there. Um, and then they've done a couple of different things that I really like as well. They have these analog switches, these toggle type switches here on both sides, right there. And also right here. So you have the best of both worlds in my, so you have these analog switches or toggle switches, which is basically your horn, your nav lights, your courtesy lights, which lights up underneath here. Then also you have an accessory switch, your aerator, and lastly your bilge. And then I have my uh, power pole uh, fob right there mounted onto the console as well. Love the steering wheel, trim and tilt, uh, right here, blinker style system here. And then also the steering wheel is adjustable to accommodate uh, people with longer legs such as myself. Have my TH Marine Atlas hydraulic jack plate gauge right there. And then also one of the coolest things that Ranger's done over the last few years on the fiberglass line is they have incorporated a ride system. And the ride system's a very handy tool in that it's a digital display. And we'll go into that in an on the water video that I'll do later, but it has obviously a gas gauge, your hour meter, water pressure, and so on and so forth that um, is really handy. And like I said, I'll go into some more of that. Really like the ride system that Ranger has put together. And the combination of the switches with the ride system is first rate. A couple other things around the console. This is your open and close for your live well. And then of course, a couple of uh, ports for your USB to get you power for your phones and etc. Okay. Some other things that I really like about the cockpit area. One of the things I absolutely love is the uh, hydro turf or sea deck type material that's in the bottom of the boat. I just washed the boat last week and it would have taken a long time for that carpet to dry out, but the comfort and the durability and the fact that it dries and wicks water super quick, love that type of a surface, especially in the cockpit area of the boat. I opted for the coin box right here um, in the center section, which has cup holders, and then obviously a storage area for cell phone, keys, whatnot, wallet, and uh, miscellaneous different things. I love these grab handles. They're aluminum billet, I believe, and they're both on the side right there. And then of course, on the uh, coin box or what we would call a glove box. And then of course, bucket style seating in the Ranger boat with an emblem on the back rest. The step up there is actually the cooler, which is really big. I remember the first time I showed it to somebody, they're like, what is that? I'm like, that's your cooler. Super large and spacious cooler to accommodate whatever you want in the way of food or drinks for the day. And I think I might even store some tackle in there from time to time. And then I love the foot rest here. You have one both on the driver's side and for the passenger. And then there's a rod storage here or rod uh, organization here where you put the butts here and then run it up here and then I put this bungee cord to uh, keep the rods in place and then moving towards the back here you have this storage compartment your live wells and then your battery compartment back here of course some of the other things that I know needs to be discussed about this boat that really set it apart from other aluminum boats. And in my opinion, this boat really bridges the gap from what you've come to expect in the aluminum boat world to what you expect out of a fiberglass boat. A couple things here that Ranger's done which make it super innovative. That is the uh, setback that you have with a lot of fiberglass boats. They've incorporated that design into the Ranger 208 Alpha. Giving you a look down here as well. So you have the offset right there that you've come to expect with uh, Ranger fiberglass boats. And then of course, I didn't mention this, but the boat buckles, boat buckle tie downs for your trailer. And then you have an access panel back there. Love the way they've rigged the power pole uh, hoses right there as well. Another thing that I really feel like is super important and that's Rangers used 0.125 gauge aluminum on the running surface of this boat. So this boat is gonna be super durable. A lot of the aluminum boats out there are 0.100. This is 0.125 inch on the uh, material or the, the, the density, the thickness of the aluminum on the running surface of this Ranger 208 Alpha. Ranger's also incorporated a toolbar there 
as well as a place for your measuring board. I wanted to give you some content on the Ranger 208 Alpha. Please expect more content from me in the way of videos on my YouTube channel, James Niggemeyer Fishing. Also, I'll be putting stuff on my Facebook channel as well as on my Instagram. If you have any questions, please drop those down in the comment section and then look forward for more content on the Ranger 208 Alpha from me in the near future. Really an amazing boat. People are really going to love this boat. I know I do. Until next time, thanks for watching and good fishing.